I'm Wendell Wright. I'm a certified hand therapist at the Orthopedic Institute of Paducah, Kentucky. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate uh, fabrication of a thumb spica splint. Uh, thumb spica splint might be utilized for somebody with a diagnosis of something like uh, Dequare Veins Tenosynovitis, uh, ulnar collateral uh, ligament disruption in their thumb, uh, maybe a Bennett's fracture, There's, or whatever reason Dr. Patton would have me make one, we'll do it. So we're, first of all, we're going to make a template by kind of tracing around their hand. So we're going to come up the forearm about um, not, maybe not even two thirds of the way. We're going to come up to their distal palmar crease here, and I'm going to mark at the thumb IP here, and I can kind of make the shape for my splint like this. Okay, and there's our template. I'm getting ready to cut it out. Okay, so I have my template cut out that I had traced around the hand. I'm going to put it on a piece of plastic and I'm going to kind of trace around my template so that I can cut it out of the plastic. Now that I have the uh, pattern transposed onto the plastic. I'm going to put it into this hydrocolator and it will uh, uh, heat the plastic up so I'll be able to easily cut it and then later on form it to her hand. Okay, so my plastic is in the this water, it's about 160 degrees. It's been in there for two or three minutes and now you can see how pliable and soft it is. And so now I'm gonna cut along the lines from my pattern. It's really helpful to have good sharp scissors. People don't understand why we're so protective of our scissors. This uh, material that we're using is called Easy Form because, I guess because it makes it easy. My splint material is nice and warm now. I like to pay, position the patient where their wrist is hanging over the edge so we can get a little bit of wrist extension. We're gonna wrap it around the thumb first and we wanna make it to where the IP is able to flex. And then we're going to form the plastic to the rest of the wrist and hand. Now sometimes you like to have the thumb in radial abduction. Uh, a lot of times we like to have it uh, positioned kind of halfway in between so you can do a little bit of opposition and at least be able to do some functional activity with your splint on. And it takes about two or three minutes for your plastic to uh, firm up. You don't want to squish it. you got to kind of pet it on. After about two or three minutes, the uh, splint is uh, pretty well formed. We'll slide it off. And from this point, uh, we can uh, smooth edges, round back uh, the, the part against the forearm. We can also make sure that the thumb uh, area is uh, sufficient to allow IP flexion here. And then we're gonna put Velcro straps and you're ready to go. 